Welcome to the Corporate Warriors video on out-of-the-box resume strategies. Okay, now let's get down to work because we're going to take a very close look on how you can separate yourself apart from everybody else in the market with a non-traditional resume that will knock their socks off. First of all, you need to understand there are three types of resumes. There's the chronological, there's the functional, and there's the obituary. Okay, now what kind of format do you have? I'd be willing to bet that every single one of you who are watching this video right now has an obituary format. Essentially, a resume tells people who you are and what you did. We can put that on your tombstone. Here's what you did. I want you to think out of the box in terms of having a resume that is more of a visionary resume that looks towards the future and the benefits that you can bring to an organization. Now, Let's really break out of the box here. Tradition tells you every career counselor, every resume writer, every human resource director will tell you that your resume should be one page, maximum two pages. Don't believe that. The decision makers, the hiring managers are interested in more information that gives credibility to who you are and what they do so that they can make an informed decision on whether or not they hire you. Now there are some very easy ways to do this that is not an overbearing use of verbiage to make it too long. Let's start out and take a look at some of those ways we can achieve that. First of all, your resume should be very results performance oriented. I want an emphasis on your ability to impact the bottom line, whether you're a, a maintenance worker or a CEO. Everyone should be, have that results performance orientation. Secondly, always make certain your resume is accurate in terms of dates, in terms of spelling, punctuation, and grammar. If necessary, get two or three or four other people to proofread your resume so that it comes out accurate. Now, let's take, away, take a look at ways that we can enhance your resume. Let's develop some key accomplishment summaries, a full page, for each accomplishment. And you can submit these with your resume. There's no rule out there that says you can't do this. And people will take a look at those accomplishment summaries and that will separate you apart from the competition. Now here's what those summaries should consist of. It should have a problem statement, probably one or two sentences in terms of what was the problem or challenge or task or project that you were a part of. Secondly, you want to provide a solution, probably in a series of bullets that define how you approach the problem and then how you executed the solution. Finally, there will be bottom line results. And this is where you want to quantify um, facts, figures, numbers that shows exactly how you impacted the bottom line. At the very least, you want to have a good qualitative result that sets you apart. But now how can we add to this to get rid of the obituary format and become visionary? We could create what are called, what I like to call insight statements. Generally speaking, your insight say, statement will be either a functional statement or industry specific. Functional meaning it's a statement about the best way that you can perform your job such as an administrative assistant, a sales manager, an accountant or a CEO. It can be focused on how you can bring uh, additional benefit into that company when they hire you. For example, uh, a maintenance worker. They might not even have a resume. They might just fill out an application for employment. But there is nothing wrong with attaching an additional document to that application. You can consider that um, almost a portfolio. It can be a one-page simple statement that can even be handwritten that says, as a maintenance employee in your organization, I have contacts or no resources where we can buy um, cleaning materials and equipment at a reduced rate. Or I also have ideas on how we can create systems and procedures for cleaning buildings and facilities effectively. When that maintenance worker attaches that statement to his application, his ability to be successful in his job search just went through the roof. So don't be afraid to break out of the box and take those extraordinary steps. Another thing that you can do 
is include stories on how you were successful. For example, I had one individual who was applying for a position as an intern with the California Department of Forestry. He wrote a one-page summary of a bike trip he took from California to Utah and shared his experiences in terms of learning about the environment and whether it was in the uh, mountains or in the desert. This simple one-page statement gave insights into him as a human being and how he gained an appreciation for the environment. He used that and within one week he landed the job. Now there are two other elements that you can include in your portfolio, portfolio that are extraordinarily powerful. Number one are visuals. Incorporate into your resume graphs, tables, charts, pie charts, or organization charts that can demonstrate how you achieve success. Visuals are very effective. Uh, today with my clients, I insist that every single client include a visual in their resume. Last but not least, and the most important thing that you can do, is create powerful videos or create a, a video summary of your expertise and incorporate it into your resume. It should be no more than a minute to a minute and a half. In today's world, it's easy to do with a mini DV camera. You see it done all the time on the internet. Now incorporate that with your resume or send it with your resume when you apply for a position. It is a very powerful way of setting you apart from other people. So I wish you the very best of success in your search. I hope you'll create a dynamite powerful resume incorporating these ideas. And we'll talk to you about other strategies in making your job search successful.